so hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been 10 months now since i put my last lock extensions and now i have new hair and i've been getting this request to do a comparison between the two lock extensions that i did and here is the video that i am doing finally after 10 long months it didn't make any sense for me to do them while i still had the previous lock extensions on so i thought i'd just wait it out until i took them out then it would be better to make a comparison then so before you decide to put either of the lock extensions i think it would be advisable if you watch this video i hope it's it's like i'm going to give like somewhat like an in-depth comparison between the two so you know i'm not sure how long the video will be but i'm sure it will be pretty long so get your cup of tea or you just get comfortable and yeah yeah <laughs> Also, I forgot to mention that the video itself is a pre-recorded video, so the next clip that I'm attaching, I'll still have my lock extensions and I will be literally struggling to get them out because I undid them myself, same with the previous ones. So if you're wondering why now I'm in a jumper and the next clip I have pajamas on is because I pre-recorded this video, so enjoy. So I've been getting questions to do a comparison between this lock extensions and the initial lock extensions that i did if you haven't watched that video i will put it up in the that thing that took as a paju that one i'll put it there so the first lock extension difference between that hair and this hair is that those ones are a bit fatter though a bit thicker though much much more thicker than this and i didn't like that i didn't really like that the hair the both the hairs are not really heavy on your head when you install them they're not they're not heavy they the in fact the thicker ones look much more heavier but they're not really heavy in general if i compare both of them then that one was much cheaper because i paid three thousand five hundred i think yeah i paid three thousand five hundred at the time i think that was sometime last year i can't remember when i did it but I paid 3500 and I stayed with it for less than six months. I think about four months. I got bored with it because one, they were too thick. They were really, really, really too thick for my liking. And my hair, the same way, same, same script, different cast. This too small, small to hairs. Because at that time, right now my hair has really grown. My hairline has really, really grown back. Then you see this two hairs, which are outside here. These to come out every single time. Like I get retouched today, then like a week later, I have these two things. I mean, it's happened with this one, but I think the main reason why it's happened is because my hair has been growing, and the ones that were left out from the from the retouch just were left out in general. So today, I am unraveling this hair. I've had it on for ten months now. I was supposed to have it for nine months, but me being the Sharon that I am, I extended it by an extra month. In fact, I would have gone full blown a whole year. So one thing I really liked about this one, the expensive one, this one that I'm removing, is you can get it to your preferred thickness, which I'm sure you can still do with a 351, but I felt like this ones are much neater, they were much, much more neater, and they were thin to the way I wanted them. Nazime Javizuri. With that one, they were 50. They were literally 50 on my head. If it's your first time like getting the locks installed, you can try the 351 if especially if you're on a budget. But if on average every single month when you're making your hair, you pay about a thousand to fifteen hundred, this one is much more worth it. And you can get different lengths. I think like shoulder length, like pick up a shoulder, like right, like right like here is six thousand then mid back mid back is usually here but you also have to consider the fact that i curled my hair so curling makes them a little bit shorter that's typically mid back and i paid seven thousand seven hundred that's for installation only but if you get your hair washed there and you get it 
curling they charge you for curling i think curling is 200 and i think washing is 300 or 200 i'm not quite sure so you know the installation process was a little bit just a little bit painful because first they have to section your hair then they have to like you know this one is not like the the initial one this one they kind of just wrap the hair around in a way i guess then they use the crochet it's a little bit painful it it is a little bit painful also um to add on to the whole thing uh another thing i forgot to add is the fact that i i have stayed with this hair for for 10 months 10 months and a few days and i went for a touch twice why did i get it retouched twice because one I prefer my hair being messier like with this growth like trust me I've seen this growth ever since my photo shoots my birthday photo shoot and that was all the way back in June I had no problem with having this messy growth growthy type of hair with the other lock extensions when your hair has growth it looks ugly it just no do you know how like you can get some hair and some hairstyles installed and the older they get the better they look with other lock extensions no they were not looking really good oh my god mm, they didn't look Thank you.